candidate showcase DTM Gayatri CG for the post of club growth director. Please listen to the, the introduction. This candidate showcase will be presented before the election during the district council meeting. Please answer the following questions. There are 15 questions and five minutes for you. You can take as much as time you want to answer one question or more than one question. For example, you may take five minutes to answer one question or more than one question or answer all questions in five minutes or less. The session ends when the time is over or all 15 questions are over, whichever is earlier. You are allowed to pass the questions without answering also. It is not the number of questions that you answer, but your thought and the articulation that is important. Do you need any clarification? Yes, sir. I'm clear. Thank you. Timer, please show the red card at five minutes. In case I miss it, please alert me through voice message. Here we go. How long you have been in Toastmasters? I've been in Toastmasters for the last eight years. What are the elected posts you held from club level onwards? I've served pretty much in all the position at the XCOM level. I started with the secretary. I have done treasurer and then vice president membership, vice president education and president at the club level. Beyond that, I've been area director and the division director. Along with that, I've also been an extended team member as a part of both division and district. I've been assistant club growth director at division and a club retention team in the district 82 Tamil Nadu. Currently, I'm part of district top seven, serving as district logistics manager. What are your strengths to take up this post? I have a good ground level work experience. I have uh, served as the assistant club growth director. Apart from that, I have chartered clubs in all the three formats. I've started a Loyola club uh, at college, a community club called Speak to Lead Toastmasters, and a corporate club at DXC DLF campus. So I understand the requirements of our members, their sentiments, the reason why they joined Toastmasters, and I would be able to provide them the exact value add that they are looking from this fraternity. Describe yourself in one sentence. I'm a dynamic, innovative, and a compassionate leader. What is the one change you propose to take up during your tenure? I would like uh, the district to work as a single team. Currently, every club is trying their best to bring in innovation and offer the best to the members. I believe we will be much more stronger if we collaborate together as a single district where the XCOM support each other, the club members collaborate and network with each other, and the district leaders have respect and uh, support uh, from all of the district together. Uh, I believe that will help us grow as a stronger uh, team. So that would be the one focus area which I would have. Are leaders born or made? I strongly believe leaders are made. Everybody can be a leader if they are given the right kind of support, mentorship, and the opportunities that they deserve. What are the core values of Toastmasters and highlight one? Respect, integrity, service, and excellence. Uh, I really like the uh, respect uh, to the best because uh, I think as humans, everybody deserves respect for whatever they are. And the best part is in Toastmasters, uh, we may come with a little experience in leadership. We may come with a lot of experience in leadership. We may be a flamboyant leader or we may be a person who has, uh, uh, who has been educated in a non-English medium. But we respect everybody for whatever they are. And I believe that uh, is very important and that's very unique about it. Of course, integrity, service, and excellence is also uh, are the other three pillars that helps us uh, keep the fraternity in such a positive way. To me, respect stands out to be the best and unique part of Toastmasters. As a Toastmasters district officer, when you have been, you have to choose between morally right and legally right, which one you will choose? <laughs> That's a dicey question. It really is dependent on the situation. Uh, I believe that most of the times uh, legally right will be morally right as well. But uh, end of the day, uh, 
I think uh, the legality stands out the best because uh, legality has been laid out based on the tried and tested principles over a period of time. So the ethics and the legal part of it defines what is right and what is wrong. So when there is a confusion, I think uh, that is why we go back to Toastmasters protocols and policies to decide what is right. Because sometimes somebody may be morally right, they might have done something out of uh, best interest, but it may not be legally right. So in that case, I think we have to stand by what is legally right. Toastmasters leadership role helps one's personal and professional life. Which one help you the most? So Toastmasters has been that thing that transformed my life by large. So I would say that I have become a better communicator and better leader. But beyond that, I became a very, very better person than what I was. Because today, my ambitions, my dreams, and my goals involve a large group of people. It is not just me and my family that I want to work for. I want to be a little contributor in everybody's life to the possible extent to help them become whatever they want to and bring them a little happiness. So to me, it has been a pers uh, it has been overall personality transformation program. And I believe most of us would also relate to this. If you have to choose between quality and quantity in Toastmasters, which one you would choose and why? Uh, the debate of quality and quantity is always there, but uh, at any point, I believe uh, quality is always more important. Quantity will follow. Quantity may be helping us to measure, but end of the day, without quality, even if somebody uh, does a lot of things, it may not be impressive. Like I might uh, deliver 20 speeches, but uh, two prepared speeches with proper mentoring and proper practice would give me much more of a benefit than delivering 20 speeches where I have not really uh, worked upon well. So I would prefer quality over quantity, though both are important. Uh, if there is a preference that I have to fix, I will definitely choose quality. Thank you, DTM Gayatri. And over to 